morning, you guys. I'm making some breakfast. I'm going to be making myself some waffles. I'm using this, it's one of my favorite, the Birch Bender. I'm just gonna add three quarters of a cup of pancake mix, a half cup of water, just a tablespoon of oil. I'm gonna take you guys to the Painted Tree with me today. It is a huge indoor shopping, um, like all kinds of booths. And I'm excited to go see what they're going to have for Christmas. It's a great place to get unique gifts. I'm gonna go in there and see what I can find. been treating myself to breakfast every single morning because of vlogmas. <laughs> well, the truth is, is that I am horrible at remembering to eat breakfast. I have my coffee and then I get ready for the day and I start doing my housework and one thing leads to another. And by the time I remember to eat, it's already afternoon or lunch, um, you know, like maybe one or two o'clock. And then I end up eating a big lunch and then I don't eat dinner. So I've been trying to force myself to eat breakfast every day and um, it's been wonderful. So I'm just eating my breakfast, talking to Ernie. He's in a hotel the week that I'm filming this. And so he was down in the dining room having his coffee and breakfast before going to um, the job. And um, he's in Los Angeles for a few weeks before going to Florida. Um, he's going to take some time off between that, um, between those two two things. Um, but now I'm in the office. I'm cleaning up from the day before when I decorated, redecorated my tree. Oh my God, I love this tree so stinking much. And the ideas that I have from now on, like I just, I cannot wait to, to for next year now. <laughs> I'm so excited. I just, I just let my creative side take over and I love it so much, you guys. It's so magical. I wish that you could be in the room with the tree to really fill it. It's just magical. And I just don't think the camera um, gives it any justice. But um, before we go out and play, before I can go out shopping, I always like to try and tackle something that, you know, I've been putting off and um, or get a little light housekeeping done or something, you know. Um, because when I'm done shopping or, you know, out for the day and I come home, I don't really want to do anything but maybe cook myself some dinner. So um, before I go, I'm in the office cleaning up from the day before, but I also have two filing boxes that in a bag and I have been carrying these things around for, uh, let's see, they're dated 2014. Receipts in the bag and in the boxes are dated 2014. The thing is, is I have never wanted to go through them. And today's the day I'm going to go through them. Don't worry, I'm custom. Um, I'm speeding this up by a thousand. So it's going to be very, very quick. Um, <laughs> but I have the shredder and um, I decided to just sit down and go through it. However long it was going to take me. Most of it was just receipts. But anything that had our name or, you know, an old address or something like that, I shredded. Um, but I was blown away, you guys, at the dates on some of these items. And this is exactly why I've been putting it off so long. So I, I just, I get overwhelmed with this kind of stuff. Paper clutter, I've said it so many times in my videos, paper clutter is my... Um, my uh, downfall. I, I can't do paper clutter. It just, uh, it just, um, it does something to me. I don't know. I can't see it. I can't deal with it. I don't like it. Um, but it always feels so stinking good when I do these types of projects. So I want to encourage you 
that if you have something that you are dreading and you dread every day <laughs> when you see it, when you look at it, you don't want to do it, force yourself because afterwards it feels amazing. And I, I always say when I'm done, why did you wait so long, Anna? Why did you wait so long? It was really not that hard at all, you guys. It did take a lot longer than I thought, and you will see that later because I had put a fresh battery in my camera while I was filming this, and this is the camera that I was taking with me to go shopping. And when I get to the darn shopping place and I turn the camera on, I had only like, I don't know, 13% or something. So don't worry, I got I got shopping done with it, but woof, uh, I was mad at myself for not checking the battery before I leave the house. I normally do that, so... Anywho, I guess I didn't realize how long it took me, but it felt so good to get this taken care of. Um, it is done. It is gone forever. I do the same thing with mortgage papers. I probably still have all the mortgage papers from like two houses ago, and I don't need them. <laughs> you know, like I don't need them. I can shred them all. And um, there's nothing about those paper where I don't need the paperwork that the builders gave us. I don't need anything from those homes and I need to just shred it. That's just like paper clutter in the back of my head that I know is there and it weighs you down. It stops you from growing. And um, oh, so this felt good right here. So we're going to do this and then we are taking off to go shopping. I can't wait to take you guys along with me. Okay, that makes me feel much better to have it all clean. Ernie needs to raise my chandelier up when he gets home this weekend. I need it up and out of the way. <laughs> Drives me crazy. But... So I need to get that out of the way. But anyways, let's go shopping. Okay, you guys, I'm on the hunt for little things for my son and daughter-in-law, the ones that are coming, because I already know what I'm getting the other sons and their wives. Um, but my son and daughter-in-law that are coming, um, they're going to be there to open presents in the morning. So I'm also looking for stuff that's small that they can take back on the airplane. So, you know, just looking for fun stuff and they have the best stuff here <laughs> so much fun look at this cute shawl that is so cute it is uh, $52 they have football one too so cute oh I love this sweatshirt some of these booths carry plus sizes too, so it's nice. And then I think I can find maybe some stuff for the grandkids. I don't know. Well, I know what I'm getting the two in California already. So, let's see. Cute. I love it. Oh, I'm gonna get this one for the bar. That's cute. <laughs> I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, but if the white runs out, I'll drink the red. I love that. Huge. So it usually takes me a long time to go through, just so you guys know. And I only have 20% battery, so <laughs> I hope I can make it the whole way filming it. Oh, look at these. Aren't these beautiful? Oh, these are pretty. Are they bells? They're lights, they light up. That's pretty. Oh, they have my favorite candles. None of these are Christmas candles.
Mm, they smell good though. They're just so pretty, aren't they? And then I use the baskets afterwards for plants. Oh, cute slippers. I should have came here first before Walmart. Darn it. Those are stinking adorable. How cute is this boo? It's adorable. I love that. It's beautiful. Look at these lamps, you guys. Aren't they beautiful? Look at that. These are gorgeous. 300 a piece. They're beautiful, though. Ooh, we got some Christmas candles. Oh, it's this one. This one's pretty. Oh pretty. I'm sorry, I can't pay $30. I'm going to go to Walmart. What are you talking to? I'm blogging. Oh, I'm just like, who is <laughs> so I'm just talking to my camera and oh. I edit later. Oh, you edit later. Okay. Yes. So then like, I mean, what is your... Like, I like California. Oh, perfect. So he's only... Yeah. So he's... Yeah. So I just... Something to keep me busy during this. It's like a hobby. Some women knit, some quilt. Yes. I blog. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you hear me talking through the store. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Have a good one and Merry Christmas. Thank you. This is a beautiful booth, is it not? Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, hillbilly mistletoe. Let's see what that smells like. Mmm, that smells good. Roasted chestnuts and brown sugar. Oh, nope, smells like a bakery. But this hillbilly mistletoe, let me tell you a thing or two. Oh my gosh, hello. Look at this cute Santa candle. How much is he, like $100? 40, that's not bad. If I really want him, I could put my sweatshirt back and get him. Darn it, he doesn't smell that great. beautiful. Oh my gosh, what a great craft idea. Look at that, what a great crafting idea. This is fabulous. Look at this one for my son. That's cute, I'm gonna get that. Okay, we are back. It is windy out there. <laughs> uh, my battery died, so I ended where I ended. I'm so sorry. Uh, I put a brand new battery in before I left, but I filmed that. It took me a lot longer than the video showed to get those things shredded up. So I'm gonna show you guys what I ended up getting. I am very, very excited about it. Okay, I'm just gonna leave them like that. How cute are these, you guys? Oh, I love them. So I ended up getting for my daughter-in-law. <laughs> Tiffany and Michael, if you're watching, turn it off now. Turn it off now. Otherwise, you're gonna ruin your Christmas. Part of their gift is their jammies and their slippers. I got my daughter-in-law this cute flannel pullover. She's gonna love it. So soft. And it's got like that raw edge detail. So, you know, it's youthful. And I just thought it was so special. They live in Arizona, so I contemplated not, but the desert gets cold um, too. So uh, I got her that, and I got her this sweet beanie. They're gonna need that when they're here. And oh my goodness, they have the sweetest socks in this one booth. And I just thought these were so special. So I got her those, that is her gift. I got him as a flannel as well. It's so nice, soft, and oh, it's so good. Such good quality. I love supporting small business and those little boutiques, they go out of their way to find quality items. So this is just magnificent and it's gonna fit his personality perfectly. Him a, he called last night and we were chit-chatting. I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm sitting out on the back patio, smoking a cigar and having a glass of port wine. 
Um, and him and his dad, when they get together, they'll have whiskey together. So I got him this beanie to wear while he's here. It's a leather patch. It says whiskey weather. So nice. And then I got him two pairs of socks. <laughs> this one says, my favorite color is whiskey. <laughs> I'm honestly making it sound like he drinks all the time and he doesn't, but these are cool. Like if he's gonna, you know, do what he was doing last night, put on a pair of these. And then this one is just the socks with the whiskey glass on it. Special. And then I picked this up for my bar. So cute, I love it. So I will tell you that I'm on a budget for Christmas. I put myself on a budget. I, I am keeping myself, where's my price tag? I'm only gonna spend $600. That's for everybody. That's for all the grandkids, all seven, and all of the adults. Um, doesn't include Ernie, I already got his gift. Um, but it doesn't include him, and I'm not spending a lot on him, honestly, and I'm not going to say what it is because he watches these videos, but um, it's more meaningful than it is costly what I got him, so you guys will see that after <laughs> Christmas, but um, I put myself on a $600 budget. I already have two of the grandkids' gifts in a cart, and we're going to take care of that right now. We're going to finish our shopping for um, four more people online right now we're gonna do that and I spent two hundred and twenty four dollars oh, I want you guys to see that because we're going to see if Anna can stick to a budget for Christmas I want you to see that I spent two hundred and twenty four dollars eighteen dollars plus tax were my earrings but I deserve it for the shopping right <laughs> so we'll say I spent two hundred $200, we'll say that. We'll call the 24 my earrings. I already have in my cart what I'm getting the other two grandchildren because their mom told me what they wanted. So I'm getting one of the grandbabies wanted a Lego set. So I'm getting him this Lego set. This is specifically the one he wanted. And then the younger one, he wanted to box, um, a boxing thing. And this is pretty cool. And you know how um, uh, Amazon can be deceiving? So they show the little boy and they show this is bigger. And I was like, I don't know. So I clicked on it and they actually have a video um, showing it, which is kind of cool. So it's actually really big. And it's perfect for them. You weigh this down with water, I believe. Um, but they can put sand in it probably if they want. But yeah, so I think that's going to be perfect for it him. out, you guys. I am going to get them silverware. When we were there and we did Thanksgiving dinner, she said, oh my God, I don't think I have enough forks for everybody. She said, um, you know, they seem to disappear. And I said, well, yeah, with kids, they throw them away on accident. So I am going to get them a nice set of silverware. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. I think that they will appreciate okay, These that. are the ones I'm going to get. They are $60. So I'm spending $146. So where does that leave me? Well, let me make sure that's the total because I got to, with shipping and all that jazz, $161 minus $361 because of the $200. That leaves me at $239. Ooh, it's going to be tough. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you a yummy, yummy recipe. I have some sourdough bread here, and I'm going to drizzle some olive oil on it with clean hands. Your fingers and your hands are your best tools in the kitchen. Spread it out. I have the oven preheated to 400. I'm going to pop these in the oven until they are golden brown. Okay, while the bread is toasting in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and turn my burner on. A little bit of olive oil put in the pan here. Maybe about, I don't know, a good amount. I'm going to add these to the pan. Woo. Yummy. Some salt. Some pepper. Cover these and let them cook down until they're nice and wilted and cooked through, nice and soft. I have some ricotta cheese here. I don't know, that's maybe like a quarter cut. And I'm hoping this works. I don't want to bust out my big blender, but I'm going to whip this.
This is exactly the way you want them, you guys. Nice and soft. Okay. These are not done yet, but they are um, toasty on the top, like crust, like hard. I have a raw um, clove of garlic here. All I'm gonna do is take my garlic and rub it on the toast, just like that, right onto the bread. Now I'm gonna put this back in the oven for a few more minutes, just so this turns golden brown. <coughs> okay. We have our beautiful golden brown toast. We're gonna take some of that whipped ricotta. We're gonna put that on here. Don't be shy. Now this is a great uh, appetizer as well, you guys. You can cut this up and I'll show you how to do that. I have like a wood board here. If I was gonna make these for a appetizer, this is what I would do. So I got my ricotta on there. I'm gonna put a little bit of arugula. Arugula is wonderful in these types of dishes because it's got that great peppery taste. And then we're going to take some of our yummy tomatoes and put those over the top here. So good. Oh, so good. Now we're going to take our balsamic glaze and we're just going to drizzle a little bit. Oop, there we go. So delicious. Now, if I was gonna serve this as an appetizer, I would just take it and cut it up in nice little slices like this. Just like that. Now for the taste test, my favorite part. But how pretty is that? Oh, so pretty and delicious. You're gonna love this. Ooh. Okay, I got my comfy cozies on. While I was waiting to cook, I was editing, but Let's give this a try. Look how pretty those are, you guys. I mean, simple. I, I love this kind of stuff. So good. Okay. I would definitely do not try eating this. What is going on here? Do not try eating this without a plate. <laughs> this has got to be one of the most amazing appetizers slash meal that I've ever had. Super simple ingredients and simple taste, but together they make the most amazing flavor. Mm. Definitely serve that with napkins. You're gonna love this. Look what I did. Ah, balsamic glaze. I hope that comes out. <sighs> Cheers. Okay, so good. You have to try that. I cannot wait to dig in and finish the rest. I still have another one to make, but it is, I'm not kidding you guys, so good. I don't have a recipe. <laughs> you just have to follow what I did here on camera. I, th My recipes that I've been showing you guys are just so simple, and they're just simple ingredients and um, easy to put together. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching today. Day six of Vlogmas, I can't believe it. I'm right on target and I already know what I'm doing tomorrow, so. There we go. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys till the end and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.